In this session, we're going to look at using Frame. Frame is a portal that allows us to look into a Windows Server and use PC-based software on our Macs. We are able to access it anywhere, anytime, and we can use a browser to access this information. So what we need to do is log into Frame. So you can head to the URL for Frame. So you can actually go to our Frame, which is uh, Matthew Flinders, at itframe forward slash login. Enter in your username and your password. You can click on Remember Me, and then you can click on Sign In. When you sign in, it'll actually open up all the applications that you have access to, depending on the subjects you're in. It depends on which PC-based applications you are required to use. So in our case, I'll be using Visual Studio or Access. Otherwise, you can be using Visio or Project, depending on which course you're in. We'll be looking at Visual Studio today. Now, your first time when you log in will take a little while to boot up. So what's actually happening in the background is on the server, it's creating a virtual Windows machine for you. And you're looking through your computer at that machine. So it does take some time to actually establish the connection, set the server up, and it, on the first time through, it does take a little while, so be patient with it. And then once you've logged in, it works rather smoothly, like if the software was actually resident on your computer. One thing you might want to do while you're waiting for the application to open, you can actually go to files and there is actually a way of linking it to your Google Drive where you can actually select that and it'll actually save into your Google Drive directly. Now when you do link it to your Google Drive, it's actually good to put it in the folder share with teacher. That way I can have access and read the information out of there if required. Now you notice that down in the bottom frame drop box down here, you can actually see Google Drive, so you can actually click on that icon and link that together. Once you're in here, we can start a new project. When you create a new project, you must remember to go down to Visual Basic if you're using Visual Basic. If you're using C Sharp, that's fine, you can stay here because both these icons look the same and we'll be building a Windows Form application. So it's really important you select the correct programming language that you want to work in. If you're working with C++, etc., make sure you select the right one. Down the bottom here, we've actually got the name of the application. So this could be example. 01 and you can also use the directory of where you want to save it. I'm just going to go with the default and click on OK. Now you notice the first time as I said before when you first go through to run the application it's a little bit slower but it doesn't take very long at all once it's compiled. So this is a basic form. I'm just going to hit start on that and the form will open. And you can see it took a little while to do that. But if I close that form now and hit start, it's pretty instantaneous after that. So normally your first open up and start is a little bit slower. After that, it runs really well. Once you've finished, you can always just exit out of the program. Yes. And then once you've left the program, you can then click on the cog down the bottom and much like a Windows 10 sort of connection, you can actually select the application you want to go into next. So this is just a quick little tour around Frame and being able to get in a Visual Basic. 